Hello, surprise! Hi guys! Hello, I don't want to interrupt everybody, all your hard working folks out there, but um, I have just a few minutes here. I'm waiting to pick up my daughter. I have got a story to tell you. I just need to share this. And I wanted to share it with you guys um, first. I'm thinking about sharing it on my land of lovely lashes um, also, but I'm just, I am shook up like in a great, wonderful way. Let me just, um, I don't want to interrupt anybody though. No, I was going to invite some people, but then I just decided I'm not going to invite because I don't want to interrupt you because you have very, very, very important work to do today. Very important work. So, um, anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and get right to it. Um, so today, oh, somebody's popping on. Who's here? Hello person. Well, hello, Lauren. Hi, honey. Okay. Uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. I was in here all by myself. Um, but I just, I have a few minutes and I just have to share this because I, oh, and Kelly, there's the girls. There's Kelly and Tia and Ashley. Hello. Oh, there's my girls. Hi, Kim. You guys, seriously, I'm, oh, I might cry through this. Okay. Cause I just kept, oh God. So, and there's Trina. Hi. Oh, and Stacy. Okay. Well, I'll give just a second and let some other people pop on. Um, so my daughter, Caitlin is in fifth grade. I don't know if I can't, I can't see any, um, I apologize guys. I can't see any comments, but, um, go ahead and comment and then I'll go back later and read them. So my daughter, Caitlin is in fifth grade and, um, many of you know, I had a, I had a leader retreat um, in January in Vegas for my first generation leaders. And so Sean Nelson and I drove to Vegas together. Um, she convinced me because I hate driving to Vegas, but I like driving there. I don't like driving home. So I flew home because she drew, drove another day and I had neither here nor there. Sean and I grew up together, a little small town. And she was telling me about her daughter who is in ninth grade, who is going to this all girls school and thriving, like unbelievable. So, and I'm telling her, Oh, you know, I'm just nervous. Like I've just heard stories about all girls schools, mean girls and this. And she's like, no, no, Sherry, it is, um, it's an all girls Catholic school. My husband is Catholic. I am not Catholic. Um, but she said, just the spirit that they have at the school of these girls, right? She goes, they just know they uplift each other. They support each other. And the school starts at sixth grade, right? So that's next year for her. And um, so it's sixth through 12th. And, you know, they wear the uniforms and the whole nine yards, right? As Sean is telling me about this school and I'm telling her my concerns and she's just like batting them out of the park. I got this feeling inside, like, you know, when you just know, and I'm like, Oh my God, my daughter has to go to the school. She has to go to the school. She has to go to the school. And I thought, Oh, how am I going to convince her? Because she's went, gone to school with the same girl since preschool. So I get home and I'm thinking I have to convince my husband. Well, long story short, I got Caitlin all fired up to go at first. She's like, no mom, I want to stay in school with my friends, whatever. I got her fired up. My husband even said to me, he goes, Okay, I knew you had sales skills. He goes, but I seriously like had no idea because he, he goes, I've been trying to get her to go to that school for a year. I go, hi, my name's Sherry. I'm your wife. What? You never told me. He's like, well, because she always said she didn't want to go. And I go, well, here's the difference between you and me. I'm the parent and it's, I don't, I'll be the bad guy for your best interest, right? So cut to... I'm in the parking lot of the school right now because today Caitlin got to shadow a sixth grade girl and go to three classes with her and have, she's having lunch right now. So I have to meet her. I have to leave here like in seven minutes and go meet her in there. Um, pick her up, but this is what makes me cry. Okay. Darren and I did the tour while Caitlin was in school with the girls. This is a campus full of girls just like us. 
There are signs on the wall that say, if you want something you've never had, you've got to do something you've never done. There was quote after quote of all the stuff that we all say to our teams. Okay, it's hot in here. I'm getting all worked up. That say things that we all say to our teams. All of the uplifting. There were young girls coming up to us that didn't know us. Hi, my name is Tara. And I said, oh, I'm, I'm Sherry Brown. Oh, hello, Mrs. Brown. Nice to meet you. Hello, Mr. Brown. It's so nice to meet you. I mean, looking us dead in the eye, shaking our hands. The confidence that these girls had on the inside, it was, it was like nothing I have ever seen. It wasn't arrogant. It wasn't that kind of confidence. It, it was a calm security. And they knew who they were. We had high school seniors were coming up to us saying, oh, this is just, we have had the best experience here. And what's so great is, you know, the hardest work is done, you know, and you're like your freshman, sophomore, junior year. And when you're seniors, it's really more about college prep. And it's really about turning inward and figuring out the kind of woman that you want to grow up to be. What? I wanted to take her home with me. But I am not kidding you. In a flash, my little, just turned 11 year old, her life flashed before my eyes because I could see the, the woman that she is going to become. And why am I telling you this? I am telling you this because there are way too many of us that have a hang up with money. And I want you to get the hell over it right now. Yes, I said that because guess what? By the way, welcome to all of our new elites in here. And um, we talk a little different in here than we do in the other groups, okay? And it's okay because it's just us girls. But I'm going to tell you something right now. If you have a hang-up with money, you're going to get over it. You are going to get over it. You are going to get over it. You are going to stop worrying about what other people have to say. Who does she think she is? Oh, la, la, la. She's driving an Escalade now. Darn right I am. Darn right I am. I earned every penny of it. And you know what I do with that money? I take care of my family. I take care of my family. And I, I got back to my car after that tour. This has been two hours now. I've collected myself, okay? I got back to my car and I just cried because yet again, here is another reason, another blessing that Unique has brought into my life. When we say that this changes lives, it changes lives. There is no way, there is no way I would have been able to afford for her to go to a private school. I can't, I, I, I want this so much for every single one of you and every single person on your team. I want it so much and I, and I am making it my mission. And those of you that are going to be in Portland, I'm going to talk a lot about this. To be of service. If you cannot get out of your own way thinking, oh, well, I need to sponsor, but oh, I feel bad, and I don't want to think I'm pushy, screw that. You're not being pushy. You are changing lives. You are changing lives. You have to reset your mind. You have to come at it from a different angle in your brain. This is what's holding you back. It's the only thing holding you back is the way you're framing it. It's the way you're looking at it. I'm going to see what time it is because I don't want to be late to get her. It's the way you're looking at it. You have to be of service. You have to get out there and work as hard as you possibly can consistently. I mean, go, 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 go. And you do it, you know why? You do it to earn the money without shame. And why do you earn that money? Because you're gonna change your life and your family's life. My daughter, my daughter, because of this business, 
is going to be the absolute best, strongest woman that she can possibly be because of this business, because of my hard work, and I'm owning it, and you need to own it too. Own the hard work. Get in there and work your butt off, because it is worth it, ladies. It is worth it. We're going to shake off the lazies, and we are going to get down and dirty, and we are going to make it happen. You are going to make it happen. And you are going to help all of those women on your team make it happen for themselves with no shame. And they are going to earn that money. And they are going to be financially independent. And they are going to be able to provide for their family in a way that they never would have been able to if it wasn't for you. If it wasn't for you. I got to go get my girl. I can't wait to hear how her day went. Even if it didn't go well, she's still going here. She doesn't have a choice. That's where the mommy comes in. But I know she's. I know she had an amazing day. I love each and every one of you. Do you hear me? I love you. And I know that you can do this. You can achieve whatever you want to achieve. And don't let money issues, whatever weirdness you were told, hovering over your head as a child, don't let it get in your way. Don't let it get in your way. Work as hard as you possibly can because your family is depending on you and it is up to you. And I want you to have this feeling. This feeling is beyond. This is, this is one of those days of my life that I will always, always, always remember because I'm just, I've been shaking all day long. So I got to go get my girl. I love you guys to pieces. Happy, happy Y Boca. Happy last day of the month. I go out there and slay it. You guys have been doing an incredible job this month. So um, congratulations to all of you. And um, I'll go back and read the comments in a little bit. Okay, love you. Bye.